All right. Welcome everybody on YouTube. Today I want to give an example application of linear programming for deciding whether points are separable or not. And first we'll decide whether points are linearly separable, but we'll see if we could also decide if points are separable in, in other nonlinear fashions as well. So our book give this, gives this example of rabbits and weasels. So I think they have a trap that catches rabbits or weasels, and we're trying to decide, um, is there a way to separate the caught animals into the rabbits and the weasels? So each animal has a weight that's measured by the variable y, and each animal also has a surface area or a shadow area. I guess the shadow area is when you, you know, take its shadow from a particular camera angle. And that's represented by the uh, horizontal axis X. And here, as you can see, the points are linearly separable. So we can find a line that divides all of, all of the rabbits from the weasels. And so you could build in this line into your trap, right? And once you catch a new animal, you could uh, use this line and use the weight and area of the animal to decide, do you think this animal is a rabbit or a weasel? Okay, so we're just trying to decide, does there exist a separating line? Okay, so we'll actually be finding a line that maximizes, you know, the closest vertical distance from an animal to the line. So we're sort of, going to find the best line of separation that, that maximizes the closest vertical distance. Uh, perhaps you've heard of support vector machines before. They are a classic algorithm in machine learning. Support vector machines, when, you're, when your points are linearly separable, they find the dividing line that maximizes um, the minimum perpendicular distance. Okay. So that's a little bit more of a realistic uh, application, but we won't go that deep today. We're just trying to decide, are these points separable by a line or not? And if so, oh no, I think I erased one of my weasels. Two of my weasels, okay. <laughs> We're just trying to decide, are the points linearly separable or not? And if so, we'll actually find the line that, that has the largest vertical gap separating the animals. Okay, so we'll call the rabbit points the PI points. I might vary from one to the number of, of rabbits. And the weasel points will be the QJ points, where J, J measure, uh, varies from one to the number of, of weasels. So, there's sort of two cases that we have to look at separately, and you could just do both. We'll only write down one case, but we're gonna look at this case where the PI points are above the line and the QJ points are gonna be below the line, okay? So that's, that's the case we're gonna code up. If you code up that case and you find that the points are linearly separable, then you're done. But if you code up that case and they're not linearly separable, then just swap it look for a linear separation where the QJ points are above and the PI points are below. Okay, so how are we going to express this as a linear program? We're gonna maximize delta. Delta is gonna be this vertical gap from any data point to the line, subject to the following constraints. So we want the PI points to be above the line and the QJ points to be below. So we want the Y coordinate of any PI point. So that's, that's just the Y coordinate of a, of a particular um, hollow circle. It has to be bigger than or equal to A times the X coordinate of that point plus B. This is the, gonna be the line Y equals AX plus B, plus delta, okay? So delta is gonna give us this vertical gap 
Here's delta. And we want all of our hollow circle PI points to be above this dotted line. And then we also have um, another constraint coming from each of the QJ points. So the Y coordinate of any QJ point should be um, less than or equal to A times the X coordinate plus B minus delta. Okay, so that minus delta means we're looking at, at this second dotted line below. And this next constraint for all J is saying that all of the QJ points are below that line. And since we're maximizing delta, right, we're finding this line, we're finding the A and the B where, you know, this vertical displacement delta is as large as possible. Let's say you try to solve this and the maximum delta is negative, right? Then you know that there's no such line, okay? So the points are not linearly separable with the PI points above and the QJ points below. So then all you have to do is try the reverse where you're looking for the PI points below, the QJ points above. Again, if you get a negative delta as the maximum, then you know the points are not linearly separable at all. Questions? All right. So maybe the main moral of this example is that often nonlinear functions can be incorporated into linear programming, particularly so if you can parameterize those nonlinear functions. So I might ask, does there exist a separating parabola? Okay, maybe something of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's see how good I can draw this morning. So um, let's try to draw a parabola. Okay, that's not bad. And if I try again, I'm only gonna get worse. So there is a separating parabola, okay? And so we could still, um, you know, have this intelligent trap where the trap uses this parabola as its equation to decide using the weight and the area of an animal to decide if it thinks the animal is a rabbit or a weasel. Right? So to decide whether these points are separable by a, a parabola, you can still use linear programming. It's almost like we're going to, I don't know, encode the nonlinearity of the parabola in as the constraints. And it doesn't really matter that the parabola is nonlinear. So again, we're gonna just maximize delta, this, this separating gap um, from above and from below. Okay. And erase all that. We're gonna maximize delta, this gap, subject to the constraint that the PI points have to have Y coordinates that are above the parabola plus delta, and the QI point, QJ points, have to y, have Y coordinates that are below the parabola minus delta. Okay, so delta is again the gap. And again, you wanna try this in two ways. So you solve this optimization problem, if you find a delta that's positive, then aha, you know you can separate the rabbits from, a weasel, from the weasels by a parabola. If the maximum delta is negative, then you're not quite yet done. Switch whether you want the PI and QJ points above and below and try that, that other variant. If that also gives you negative delta, then they're not separable by any parabola. We, we don't really need a parabola here, right? You could sort of replace this with some function of the form, you know, um, y equals f of x. And f could be, I think, really whatever function you want, as long as there are parameters, you know, a, b, c, d to learn. So maybe, 
whoa, okay. Maybe you could decide, are my points separable by some function of the form y equals um, a sine x plus b cosine um, x squared um, plus c e to the x, you know, plus d um, log of um, log of x. Uh, something like that. Okay. You could still do this linear, you could still decide if your points are separable by that function using this linear program. The, the reason is that, you know, each data point PI is giving you constraints. Each data point PI is giving you constraints. And so, yes, X is sort of appearing in a nonlinear fashion, but, but that's just encoded as a, as a constant and a constraint, right? So this log of x or this x squared, those just get turned into constants um, in, in, in this constraint. Okay, so I'm not saying that nonlinear functions can always be incorporated into linear programming, but sometimes nonlinear functions can be incorporated. Questions? Thanks.